This happens to be a naval installation, and by his refusing to identify himself when confronted by a United States naval officer, constitutes a very serious breach of security. And we... <laughs> of course, on, on the other hand, uh, if you say he's a gentleman... <laughs> Chuck, fellas, I want you to meet Pali Urulu. He's a very important chief and number one witch doctor in these parts. Well, pleasure to meet your acquaintance, Chief. I'm pretty important. Uh... Uh, well, Arulu, uh, what are you doing down from the hills? Is there anything we can do for you? When you take island from Japan, man, you cannonboats kill all my coconut trees. Now you pay. Hold it down, hold it down, fellas. Well, uh, how, how much damage did uh, happen to your trees, Chief? One hundred thousand dollar, you give me. Well, well, how did you decide a hundred thousand dollars? That figure nice and round, like coconut I lose. Excuse me just a minute, Chief. Uh, come here, fellas, come here. Excuse me, Chief. <laughs> well, I don't know what to do. He's a very important man in more ways than one. I just can't tell him to get up and shove off. Why don't you do it according to regulations? I mean, go through channels. Endorse him on up to the next highest authority. To Binghamton? Why, he... <laughs> He'd blow his top. bombardment did knock down a mess of coconut trees, sir. This whole mosquito trap of an island isn't worth $100,000. <laughs> well, who is this creature? Just some gold brick salesman that you've teamed up with to defraud the government? Wait a minute, sir. This is Polly Urulu, a very influential man. Well, as far as I'm concerned, he's just some backwoods extortionist trying to work his way up into the big time. He's also a very famous witch doctor, sir. I don't care if he's a neurosurgeon. <laughs> You'll pull anything like this again, and I'll throw you in the brig. You not give me money? Uh, actually, sir, the man is within his rights. According to regulations, that's paragraph Be quiet. 10. Nobody likes a smart ensign. <laughs> I was just trying to point out. You can point out the door to this walking totem pole. That's what you can point out. You not give me money? You're lucky I don't give you 30 days. Now get out of here before your hat starts shedding on my floor. No, 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 chief, no. I don't care who your law firm is. Get out of here. <laughs> What was that all about? What? 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 Well, that, sir, was the Malo Malo curse. The what? Sir, he just put a curse on you. <laughs> he put a curse on you. <laughs> That's the funniest thing you ever heard of, Mr. <laughs> well, now, Captain, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying I put anything on his curse business, sir, but 
Well, I've seen a ruler in action before the war. There was a rival chief uh, one time uh, claimed that he was a phony, and uh, the last time I saw that chief, he was four feet tall and still shrinking. So. Oh, Mikhail, I've always known that you weren't very smart. But to think that you believe in witch doctors... Well, is... now, I don't say I believe, sir, but uh, with the Rulu, well, it, did, it wouldn't hurt anything to call him back and slip him a few bucks. I'm running a naval base here, not a small claims court. Now, get out of here. I'm busy. And send Lieutenant Carpenter in. Well, anything you say, sir. Since when? <laughs> Molly, Molly. <laughs> Hey. Yes, sir? Oh, uh, Lieutenant, did Mikhail tell you? Tell me what, sir? That big savage that just left here, he put a curse on me. Oh? <laughs> well, uh, maybe he's a Japanese secret weapon, sir. <laughs> That's very good, Lieutenant. Very I thought good. so, too, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, shall we just go along and inspect that new dog now? <laughs> Is it shame, sir? All right, Lieutenant, all right, let's go. Where's the captain? I must say, sir, this certainly is not your day. When I want your comments, Lieutenant, I'll ask for them. Here we go. Watch. Up. Oh, oh, that's easy. Easy, eh? Yeah. Okay, Fooge. How come you're holding out on us? Where'd you get that pigeon? Pigeon? Yeah. How about that? Hey, you guys! Pronto! Hey, Tinker! It's a pit. I gotta tell you what happened. Hey, Skip, you know that curse Rulu put on Captain Binghamton? Yeah. It's starting to work like gangbusters. Tell him, Pink. Well, Binghamton was inspecting the new dock, and he worked a plunk right into the drain. <laughs> Anybody can fall off a dock that doesn't have a guardrail. Oh, this dock has a guardrail. Binghamton went through it, right on his... Are you sure? I saw it with my own gleeful eyes. <laughs> Ridiculous. Taking a few unfortunate accidents and trying to link them to that silly native superstition. Yeah, well, if I were you, I wouldn't make any fun of Arulu's curse. Not while he's around. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do with a three-foot ensign, buddy. <laughs> hey, Skip, don't tell me you believe in that native mumbo-jumbo. Are you kidding? <laughs> do I look superstitious? Yes! <laughs> hey, speaking of mumbo-jumbo, the great Gruber, master of the legend of Maine, will now perform his most fabulous feat of all time. Oh, oh come yeah, on, yeah, come on. Yeah. Will you? I shall change this tiny seed into a full-grown mango tree right before your very eyes. Oh, oh this is right. 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 A full-grown mango tree. Full-grown. Go ahead. Nice little seed. Place it in a little dirt over it. Put a cloth over it, a few magic words, abracadabra. Mango's up. <laughs> Maybe you need a little water. <laughs> Should have used water. Morning, sir. Good morning, good morning. Ooh, ooh, are you all right? Uh, sir, are you all right? That stupid stuff is all right. Well, I'll have it fixed immediately, Take sir. Take that cast off, please. Sorry. Matter with you. Well, didn't you ever see an engine overheat before? Oh, yes, sir. But I haven't started the motor yet. <laughs> I suppose you think that those incidents out there were caused by that so-called curse? Well, let me tell you, mister, any time some half-naked savage can frighten 40 not Binghamton. Well, the thought never entered my mind, sir. And I suppose that you think that I should file the Rulu's damage claims against the government. Oh, no, sir. I don't think Washington would like it, sir. They'd hate it. They'd hate me. They'd think that I don't know how to run my base. You give me a straight answer now, mister. Do you put any credence in this silly curse business? There is no such thing as a curse, sir. Good man. There is absolutely, positively, no such thing as a curse.
Oh, no, just stand there, Carpenter. Get me form 35370 Civilian damage claims against the name. <laughs> That's good news tonight. Gather round one and all. Oh, what happened? Did Binghamton follow his fan tail again? This is important news. Skipper, I got a direct to my Washington contact. They're sending an admiral out with authority to relieve Captain Binghamton. Are you sure, yeah. Gruber? Has my underground network ever been wrong? Yes, sir. Chicken Binghamton is a dead duck. Hey! Hey! Wait a minute, man. There's no way to talk about our commanding officer. Uh, you mean ex-commanding officer. All he has to do is goof off in front of Admiral Hawkins and who? who? Admiral Hawkins. That's the name of the guy they're sending out from Washington. Well, you, you don't mean horrible Hawkins. Nah, name's Homer. That's the one. Horrible Hawkins. Oh, fine. What's wrong, Skipper? Oh, listen. Horrible Hawkins is not only ten times as chicken as Binghamton, and a hundred times smarter. If he takes over, fellas, forget it. We're back in the Navy. Oh, no. <laughs> now, wait a minute, wait a minute, man. Just because Hawkins runs a taut ship, doesn't mean it can't be a happy ship. <laughs> Besides, there's nothing tautier than a half ship. <laughs> a happy ship. Pretty miserable. <laughs> what are we going to do? Well, I don't know. It's going to kill you guys as much as it does me. But we're in a trap. If we don't want horrible Hawkins, we'll have to help Binghamton. What can we do, Skip? How can we get that curse off him? Uh, now, how many times do I have to tell you guys there's no such thing as a curse? Oh, yeah, well, what would well, I don't know. I said a lot of curses in my life. Oh, I'm sorry, Blue. Oh, 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 that's what? <laughs> Urulu put the hex on Binghamton, right? Yeah. Well, if we came up with a witch doctor, a better one than Urulu, we could convince Binghamton that the new one could take off the curse. Great, great. Where do we find another witch doctor? <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute, Skipper. You can do it, Groob. But I don't look anything like a witch doctor. You look as much like a witch doctor as you do a sailor. <laughs> hey, Skip, Captain Binghamton wouldn't fall for anything like this. In his present frame of mind, he'd fall for anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a cinch, Groob. All you gotta do is a couple of magic tricks, some mumbo-jumbo, and a little paint. And we got the paint! Oh. <laughs> then it's all set. I hereby christen you... Kuruliaba. Chief Head Shrinker of the... Kandulu tribe. I can do it. I can do it. Quick, Al. I don't have time to waste on your nonsense. Oh, I, I wouldn't want to waste your time, sir. Oh, what's those rocks, sir? Well, but still, I don't think it pays to take chances, sir. Naturally, it's ridiculous to think that you've been cursed. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'll have you know that not a thing has happened to me all day. Oh. Well, good for you, <laughs> sir. Oh, shut up. Yeah, but still, it doesn't pay to take chances, sir. I, I, I've gone out and located the head witch doctor of the Kandulu tribe. He's a very important man. And <laughs> he hates Arulu, sir. So? So he said he'd be delighted to take a Rulu's curse off of you, sir. Well, that is the curse you don't have on you, sir. Oh, no, Miguel. You're not going to rope me in any more of your voodoo nonsense. I'm a scientific, rational man, and this is the 20th century. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, after you, sir. Oh, no. After you, Miguel. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> After you, Parker. Oh, well, sir, you outrank me. By After you, I know who outranks who. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Dale, take me to your witch doctor. Oh, I don't think. I don't have too much rouge on, do I? Oh, no, you're just beautiful. You remind me of a blind date I had once. Hey, come on, you guys. We better finish up. The captain skip will be here any minute. Uh, 
This is it, sir. The sacred place. The Kandulus think that the world was created right here. Boy, think of that. <laughs> sacred place, the Kandulus. This is absurd. I could just scream. What you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's all right, sir. It's all right. Now, Rulu's curse was big medicine. But Gruliaba assures us that, uh, well, it'll take even bigger medicine to take the curse off you, sir. Huh? Let me Ah! Nabanani Wani Kolo. Anakaloa. Yeah. Yeah, what did he say? Uh, well, well, sir, he says that uh, uh, this is a very serious case, sir, and that your uh, Kaloa Naba is very uh, Nabunanawana. He did? Yes, sir. Is it? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Achoo! Uh, Achoo! Hold uh, the hula grabber! Good morning. Uh, this side will asphyxiate me. Uh, no, sir, it's some, it's some hotel powder. It's kind of like a native penicillin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hang on, Oma, put it Get this vulture off of my head! Watch you! On that chuckle too! Ah, yeah, yeah, you see, he's transferring a ruler's curse to the chicken, sir. Ah, mm. oh, this is ridiculous. Huh? Ah! Fundu Manikai! Fundu Well, I must have been out of my mind to let you talk me into coming here. Oh, no, 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 sir. Now, now don't worry, sir. I, I, I guarantee you that Gruli Abba will get rid of the curse and fast! <laughs> I'm Admiral Hawkins. Where's your commanding officer, and who are you? Lieutenant Cobbster at your service, sir. Captain Binghamton left with Commander McHale, sir. Now where to? McHale's Island, sir. Hmm. Mc... A mere lieutenant commander, and he has his own island? <laughs> Things are a worse mess in this base than I expected. All right, come on, let's find this so-called captain of yours. Yes, sir. Uh, well, well, hello, Rulu. Uh, nice see you to drop by. <laughs> oh, do you know Gruli over here? <laughs> Mikhail, what is going on? What's your Rulu doing here? Uh, well, I don't know, sir, but uh, don't worry. Uh, Gruli Abba will protect you, yes, sir. Uh, what happened? Him flip wig, Mikhail? <laughs> and uh, who he? Uh, well, uh, this, is, this is Gruli Abba, great witch doctor, just like you, Rulu. Uh, show some of your magic tricks there. Go ahead, Gruli Abba. Could somebody please tell me what's going on here? Uh, it's kind of a... Uh, well, sir, as a matter of speaking, it's the, <laughs> it's the battle of the two great witch doctors. They're kind of fighting for your soul, sir. Come on, Liaba. Come on. Uh, excuse me. What are you going to do now? The mango tree trick. But you can't. If you blow that, you blow everything. What him do? Uh, well, uh, if the spirits are willing, uh, Guliaba will... Uh, we will show what you're going to do, Guliaba. Thank you. Likewise. How about that, huh? <laughs> Very good. You teach me, I pay. Ah, uh, no, 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 uh, no, uh, no, 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 Rulo, uh, he, he couldn't do that. Uh, but uh, we could uh, make a bargain. Uh, you take the curse off Captain Binghamton, and the great Gruli over here will teach you the trick for free. Hmm. You drive hard bargain. Well, <laughs> okay, no more malo malo curse. You're kidding. How about that, sir? 
I don't believe this. It's all a nightmare. Well, well, well a nightmare's over, sir. And I'll prove it to you. Honey, honey, ma. Uh, get a chair, any chair. And uh, now, you just wait and see, sir. Just what we... Tin hut! What in the name of the great white fleet is going on here? Uh, well, uh, Admiral Hawkins, sir. Uh, how nice, sir. Uh, uh, whatever brings you here, sir. You're going to find out soon enough, Mikhail. Oh. So who is this? The bird man at Taratuba? <laughs> uh, where's Binghamton? Oh, oh, right here. Uh, here's Captain Burdington. Uh, wait, uh, Captain, the Admiral's here. Who? The Admiral. Oh. Oh, the Admiral. Uh, well, uh, Welcome aboard, Admiral. Welcome aboard! Oh, well, 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 sir, you, you, you came at a very exciting moment, sir. Captain Binghamton was just uh, uh, concluding a, a treaty with the local natives, yes, sir. And you know how quaint their ceremonial uh, costumes are. Yes, sir. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, rubbish! <laughs> you listen to me. Captain, this is for your own information. I came all the way out here to relieve you of your command. If I decided it was necessary. <laughs> and you have just about made my decision for me. Relieve me of my command? Oh, my career. My promotion. Oh. Hey, look, everybody, I'm sitting down and the chair hasn't broken. I'm sitting down! All right. <laughs> On your feet, you naval reservist. I'll tell you when you can sit down. Now you listen to me, every one of you. I don't know exactly what's going on around here, and I got news for you. I am certainly going to find out, you hear? Yes, sir. Who him with big mouth? This is a very important man, Arulu. He's Binghamton's big boss from Washington. Where all the money is. $100,000 you give me. I'll give you 90 days in the coldest brig in the Navy. You pot-bellied aboriginal sea lawyer, you. <laughs> insult, McCain? Oh, uh, insult, Chief. <laughs> la, la. Ah, hold, 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 hold it, Chief. Uh, step back there now. Don't let me splash you. What's it doing? Malo, chiki, karakai. Well, what did all that mean? Uh, well, sir, he uh, he just put a curse on you. <laughs> oh, so you put a... He put a curse on you? Yes, sir. Oh, come on. Oh, now that does it. That really does it. Oh, Bingham. You're not only running the most inefficient base in the entire Pacific, but you got a crew here living in the Dark Ages. <laughs> what a report I'm going to send to Washington on this one. <laughs> a curse. On the United States Navy in the middle of the 20th century? Not bad, huh? <laughs> well, Chuck, for better or for worse, we got the captain back. Boy, you sure handle it brilliantly, too, Skip. Convincing Hawkins of Binghamton handle the situation the only way possible. <laughs> Well, Hawkins falling through that chair didn't hurt anything either. <laughs> Skipper, we got trouble. What now? You know the trick Gruber promised to teach a ruler for getting the curse off Hawkins? Yeah. <sighs> oh, for crying out loud. Come on. Una, mula, mula, halu. You make fun of me, Gruber. Oh, no, no, Chief. Just give me a few more seconds. I'll have it full of goldfish for you. I promise. You better make it good, Gruber. I can't use a four-foot torpedo man either. I'm trying, Skipper. I'm trying. Alakazam, Alakazam. Hey, nani, nani, in a hot shot shot. Full for the top with little goldfish. You big pig. Urulu mad. La la No, no, no. Don't, Chief. Don't, don't. He's trying. He's trying. Yeah. One more chance, Chief. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. We got another fishes in the bitty pool. Alakazam, Abacadabra. Hey, hey. They're in there. La la manu malo malo. No 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 no, Chief! Not the curse! Not the curse, Chief! Please! Not the curse!